There are two ways to set up this camera to the NVR, wired and wireless. Now, let's talk about the wireless method. Of course, as a precaution, I guess we're going to have to delete the wired setup. So, you know, just go to the video manage and just delete it. But I, we're gonna have to talk about the wireless because we can't set it up because in order to set up wirelessly, you have to turn it on near the router. The router right now is like 20 feet away through two walls. So of course you can't set it up through wireless, but here's essentially what you should do. You should turn it on while it's within two to three feet of the wire and uh, of the router. And when it does, it's going to basically be searching for the Wi-Fi. Of course, make sure that you unplug it from the ethernet cable and factor or set it. But anyway, when you plug it in and put it in, put it within two to three feet of the router, it should turn on and it should try to detect the Wi-Fi. When it finally does detect the router, it will say something like connection success. Uh, you know, if you watch the video when we tried to hook it up to the, to the phone app, it should say something sort of like that. But when you do, you should be able to go to the NVR and click, right click, Wi-Fi add more to add the camera. All right, so an update. Um, we I thought I finished the video, but we actually figured out how to set it up using the Wi-Fi. And right now you can see that we have the protocol set to default and it's listing all the IPs. When we go to listing the OnVIP protocols and pressing refresh, you'll notice that nothing actually shows up. So I'm guessing that earlier, if we set the protocol to default and press refresh, we would have detected it, but that's weird. I don't know why it doesn't detect the protocol because you'll see when it loads, it actually does say on your protocol on the top. But when you see, when we, we set it up, by the way, the, the, the camera is actually downstairs with the router. So that's why it's being set up. It's actually not here, but you can see that the camera is right here. And right now it's looking at a computer screen, but what's supposed to be on the computer screen is a preview of the camera because we actually, all right, so we turn the computer back on. So this is what it's looking at right now. And if you can't tell from what, what seems to be Inception, this is actually, this computer right now is actually viewing what the camera is showing. So we actually have the camera set up to be viewed on the computer, which we'll cover in a future video. But as I said before, this update was to show you that we were able to set, up, uh, set it up using the Wi-Fi if we went to the protocol default and press refresh. Let's see if we double click it. Hopefully we can add it. Updating. Okay, connect failed, but it's gonna success soon. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> oh, that was Bella, the, the bells, but as you can see, that's what the computer looks like. So stay tuned for that video. All right, so it's um, 12, 16 actually. So I think, yeah, it's a, a Sunday night. Thankfully you have Monday night off, so. This is Bella too. <laughs> so I guess that's it. So signing out. Peace. All right, so that's how to set up your PTZ camera to any OnVIF compliant NVR. All right, let's talk about the PTZ function. You can actually control the pan, tilt, and zoom of the camera using the NVR. Let me show you how. We're gonna click on the uh, camera itself and what we're going to do is we're going to right click and one of these says to be PTZ control. So we click that and you can see that we're able to basically control the pan tilt and zoom. Now of course the speed function controls how fast the camera goes but when we press the button it goes the same rate as it does at one. So I'm guessing that if you hold it down maybe there's a difference but wait hold on actually let me see. Let's see what happens if you hold it down. Oh, no difference. Well, we'll get back to you on that. But right now, 
going to zoom in on that. There we go. So there's also a focus. Not sure what an iris is. Um, and I guess that's the PTZ controls for you. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. If you like or comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on Ayman on the home security and video surveillance systems. Most of the videos we've done have been on the high CU brand, but maybe we'll branch out, but it might be best to stick with the same brand, so just for consistency's sake. But let's see, maybe I can try to ro rotate to me and I can do my closing over there. Maybe that'll take like a, a whole minute, let's see. It's a very slow system. Whoa, okay. That's that's kind of inception. Alright, hold on. Right. Alright. Alright. I'm Ayman and signing out. Peace. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that didn't echo. But anyway, signing out. Peace.